Hello YouTube, Real Shooting here and in today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing on the Mystery Tackle Box. It's been a while since I've gotten one of these. I think this is like my third or fourth one and so far they all come with some pretty good baits. And you really do get a good deal on these. I believe these retail around $20 to $30, some are $40. Depends on which level you get, but I think this is the $20 one. I can't exactly remember. This was actually a gift on my birthday that just passed it's now like two weeks ago. July 21st, but anyways, I already opened it, so I know there's some pretty good baits in here. There's actually a couple that I've been wanting to try, and luckily they do send them in these boxes, and I did get one. You guys will see that here in a little bit. Let's open it up real quick. Let's see what we have. They always give you this booklet here with a couple of tips, all the different lures, different items that they sell, mainly catch co. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can read through that later. Let's get to the baits. And I'll just start off with what's on top. We have some hooks. Most of the time you're gonna get probably some soft plastics and then you're gonna get some hooks, of course. So here we have some EWG. This is a two pack size three. I've, I've been seeing a lot of these spear points and I have no problems with them. I have fished them myself. They work mainly just like any other hook. They, they do hold the fish in there. I know it has a different gap here that's supposed to Hold the fish a little bit better i don't know i don't really see the big difference but i do fish them and they work let's keep going what do we have here we have a guggen squad clickbait now i've never actually fished this exact guggen squad bait pretty excited to try it and i do like this color i believe i have this color in the spinner bait that's sunrise crawl yep there it is sunrise crawl what does it say five odd a five out hook oh this is a half ounce chatterbait most of the time i buy three eight ounce let's open this up real quick hopefully it's not too hard some of the baits have tape and staples now i mainly fish z-man chatterbaits and sometimes the strike king chatterbaits so this will be interesting i like that gold blade too that's pretty different i'm gonna try this out see if it works this is actually a very different head design i've never I never knew it was like this. Look at that. I feel like most of the time you have like the swivel head. Pretty nice color there. That's going to work extremely well in dirty water. And there you have the weight. Half ounce. I like that they put that on there so quickly you can glance at that and know the weight of the bait. Pretty excited to try this. I believe I'm going to be doing a chatterbait challenge soon. So I should be able to fish this in that challenge. Unless I stick to like my go-to, the Z-Man Jackhammer. Or the Strike King Thunder Crickets. Let's keep going with the baits. I see a little jig here. I have a ton of jigs, you guys. Recently, probably like four, four or five months ago, I bought a bunch of Strike King jigs. I really like fishing jigs. I also placed an order on Six Cents, and I have those. I already did that unboxing a while ago. Bunch of Six Cents jigs. I really like the Six Cents jigs. This one right here looks like it would do the trick as well. This is a pretty natural color. It's called Callen's Flippin' Stalker Jig 3 8 ounce. I really like that size. That's my main go-to right there, 3 8 ounce. I like the color. It's like a green pumpkin. We have some red in there. Do they say the color? I think it's called right there, Pond Scum. Recommended trailer, Uncle Josh Pork Frogs. It says these are designed specifically for the heaviest cover and structure. I'm trying to open this up. Let's see. This one doesn't have staples. Oh yeah, nice little compact jig. Doesn't look too big. I like that. Very natural jig. You can see that head is painted. It has detail. It's not just straight black. It's like a green pumpkin. Hopefully that shows up well. And there is some red strands in there. You can see that. It's going to give off some flash. Pretty nice natural presentation. Again, you can trim the skirt on this if you want to get it a little bit closer. And now that I think about it, there is another bait in here that goes well with this jig. You can also match it with that chatterbait. I think I'm going to grab for that next. That's the new Z-Man Goat. That color here, watermelon red. You can never go wrong with watermelon red. And these baits here, they look kind of big in my opinion. 3.75 inch. Probably meant to be fished by itself. But if you want to use it as a trailer, you can always cut it down a little bit. Let's pull one out real quick see what they look like. What is this? This is actually a four pack. There you can see that, very nice. Watermelon red, 
It's definitely gonna work. I think this on a Texas rig would do really well. And that Z-Man elastic, yeah. You put this as a trailer, it should last very long. Pretty nice bait. Let's keep going, let's keep going. See what else we got in the box. This is already one, two, three, four, four items. Pretty good deal. Now up next, we got the Biospawn Rattlebot. Now I do have this exact lure in a different color. I believe I have the bluegill pattern. I fished it a couple of times, still haven't caught a fish on them. I just have more confidence in the Bill Lewis rattle traps and the Six Cents lipless crankbaits. Also, the Guggen Squad ones, they do pretty good too. So I'll just have to keep trying this. I did want this color, so I'm glad I got that. That's the Magma. It's a red natural craw pattern. And that's a half ounce lipless crankbait, so you're going to be able to cast this pretty far. Look at that. Pretty nice colors on there. Red and black. Oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That's pretty exciting. And if I gotta wait for the spring, we'll wait for the spring. But yeah, red lipless crankbaits definitely do the trick. Let's hear the rattles too. Yeah, it's more like a knocker in there. Gotta watch out with those hooks. Let's keep going. What else do we have up top? Oh, this is like a, what do you call it? A blade bait. Yeah, this is a blade bait here. It's called, it says tournament grade. The Astro Vibe. 26.3 grams. I don't know. It says sinking 15, 16 ounce. This is pretty heavy. Works alongside with top competitors. Yeah, I can't find the color on this. Pretty natural color. I don't know if I'm gonna open it up. We'll open it up real quick. Ooh, that fell right out of the box look at that this is actually a pretty heavy bait i can tell just by holding it in the package that is a nice blade bait definitely something for deeper water i can tell look at that orange on the bottom pretty nice i've only fished a couple of blade baits i still haven't caught fish on them very similar to a lipless wow one thing i just realized this one has rattles most of the time you don't see that in a blade bait i don't think so Yeah, that's gonna be hard to hear but i'm sure swimming it yeah you can hear that pretty nice natural looking color definitely looks like a bait fish but that's definitely something for deeper water i feel like just because of its weight again 15 16 of an ounce that's pretty heavy almost an ounce up next this is one of the baits i've been wanting and luckily it was in this box so that's pretty exciting mike buka's bullshed many people have good reviews on this lure here this is the 3.75 inch slow sinking. What color is this? Threadfin Shad. Pretty natural color. Let's see. This might be a harder one to open. Had to get it off camera for a little bit just to pop this open, man. It doesn't have tape, but that plastic is in there pretty good. There we go. There we go. Check that out, you guys. Pretty nice little swim bait. I don't fish swim baits a lot, but I know they work. People give them good reviews. Wow, I did not know that about the tail. Very, uh, this isn't just, I thought this was solid plastic, you guys. This is actually feathery. Look at that. It's probably going to give it a lot of action as it swims through the water. I didn't know they were like this. Of course, there's some clacking sounds as you swim it. Look at that. We got a nice purple back up there. Some scale patterns. You got the little bluegill dot. It's almost like a ghost clear on the bottom, at the very bottom. You go from white to like a clear. Pretty nice eyes on there. And you should have some pretty good hooks. Yeah, those are very sharp. Very, very thin on the points. You can feel that. Does it say what hooks? I don't think it says what hooks, but these are pretty good hooks. I'll have to fish this a little bit and see, maybe do a video just fishing this because I don't have a ton of confidence in swim baits, but I know they work. So now I got one I can try. These things are pretty pricey right there, but pretty cool that it came in the kit. What's next? I think this is the last item. Yeah, that's the last item. We also have a sticker here. Pretty nice little sticker. And something that shows all the baits. There you can see that bullshit. $14.99. Astro Vibe. 
11.99, the Guggen Squad Clickbait, 8.99, Battle Spawn, what is it called? Battle Bot Crawl, 8.49, Lighthouse Lures Mini Shad, 5.99, Z Man Goat, 4.99, The Little Jig was 4.99, and The Hooks were 180. So here's the Little Lighthouse Mini Shad, these are 5.99. These look interesting. To me, it almost looks like a fluke, maybe like a swim bait. Let me see, it just says six pieces, and then for the color, it has a number. That's interesting. Oh no, there's the color right there. That's definitely the color root beer. Very interesting bait right there. Look at that, that is a big bait fish imitator. I definitely want to fish this weightless, or with an underspin too. I just thought of that. I'm trying to see if it has scent. I don't think it has a strong scent on there. Ooh, I almost hooked myself. Pretty nice little bait. I'll have to fish them. Try them out. You get a six pack in there. Ooh, I almost put that on the back. Put that up real quick. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I mean, that's a good amount of baits. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven baits and then that pack of hooks. Not bad at all. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, you guys, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.